This morning we've been showing you a paranormal researcher from Ghost and at searching our KDKA TV studios for any signs of ghostly visits. Maybe Bill Burns. Yeah, well, you no. never know. You Patty. never know. It's KDKA. Real life ghost hunter Brett McGinnis has checked out every corner here at KDKA, including Ron's weather station. I think it's interesting that we mentioned that in particular <laughs> to see if anything turned up. Brett is with us here now to share his findings. And first, Brett, tell us what called you to, to investigate all this and how can you tell if something's haunted? Well, I've always been interested in paranormal activity and ghosts and things like that since I've been a, a young kid. And uh, it's just always been an interest of mine. And then whenever the TV show started to come out, I would watch those and they really interested me. Then in 2007, I did my first paranormal investigation. And in 2010, I had the awesome opportunity to be a cast member on a sci-fi channel television series called Ghost Hunters Academy. So is it something that you're born with that you can pick up on something? Because my daughter freaks me out all the time. She, it seems like she's mm -hmm. talking to somebody in uh, her house. Yeah. And I know that kids have that ability maybe to see things that we can or that we've blocked out. So is it something you're born with or is it more of the use of tools and well, things? I don't have any superpowers or anything like that. Uh, I just have an interest, but they do say that children and, and animals even can see things that, that, you know, that we can't. So uh, I rely mostly on my scientific equipment to try to make contact with the other side. And so what do you bring here? Because we saw you walking around our studio with something in your hand that kind right. of like a cell phone. Sure, yeah, so uh, a couple really popular paranormal tools we have is a, is a K2 meter here. And what this does is it measures electromagnetic fields. Mm -hmm. And um, electromagnetic fields can occur naturally, but also they're associated with paranormal activity. Um, also a very popular piece of equipment that we use is a voice recorder. This picks up something called EVP that stands for electronic voice phenomena. Those are voices or noises that we can't hear with our own ears, but they're picked up on voice recorders, video camera, audio, things like that. What is the spookiest or weirdest thing that you have found? Like, uh, you know, the, the most exciting, perhaps, ghost encounter. Um, I was investigating uh, this abandoned nursing home one time, and it was me and a group of five people, and we looked down the hallway, and yeah. we saw a hand come out of one of the doors Stop it. and wave up and down to us for about three minutes, actually, believe it or not, and the wall was very strange there. The wall almost looked like it was vibrating at the time, so it was a, it was a really interesting encounter. So for something to happen for three minutes, it's not like, did I just see something? Right, that was like, right. you definitely so saw something. So did you something. walk wow. up to it? Did you try to touch the hand? Did you? Well, we, like, as a reporter, I'm just so curious. Right. So like... many questions. Well, we stayed where we were at. Uh, it's shocking to see something like that. And, and you do question, am I really seeing this? But whenever there's a group of several people there uh, and everybody's seeing the same thing, you know, it's undeniable that something was happening. So it did go away, you know, after about three minutes. And we did go down there and there was mm. nobody there. So we think of things like uh, an old nursing home, mm. uh, a cemetery, a jail, an old jail, things like that as, as being haunted. But are they with with us, you know, everywhere, like in our homes? I mean, have you found them in unusual places? Oh, they, yeah, they, they definitely, they're everywhere, you know. Uh, started out before we had the business where we took people ghost hunting. We would go out to people's homes and businesses that were experiencing paranormal activity. And these people are usually uh, pretty frightened. You know, things have happened to them or their kids or their animals, and they kind of want to know what's going on. So we go out there and we'll check it out for them. Hmm. And, and in generally, our, our ghost Friendly, the ones that you've encountered, like or, Casper, or, or yeah, or they, <laughs> I would want Casper in my house if I had to have a ghost. But you know, or are there sort of bad spirits going on? What have you encountered? Well, I don't know if there's bad spirits, but there's definitely mean ones. You know, uh, we think like a mean person is going to be a mean ghost. You know, so okay. uh, most of them are friendly, though. Uh, people are always worried about things attaching to them and and, and that type of stuff. And in doing this for over 10 years, I've never seen that personally. I've never had anything follow me home from uh, a haunted building or anything like that. But um, yeah, so mean people equals mean ghost. Nice person usually equals a nice ghost. Well, that's something just know. tickled my face, and uh -oh. I'm sure it was just. <laughs> it has to be wondering. Get this okay, out yeah, get it out. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, I don't know. We're getting a little. We're getting a little fluctuation there, but it could be from your microphone. Oh, you know? okay. There's a lot so, of electric here. so you did walk around our studio. Did yeah. you find anything? Uh, nothing yet, you know. But I think it requires maybe a little bit of a uh, longer investigation. Yeah. We have some legends here, so. I've heard. Yeah. Yeah. You never know. You never know. Including and the Renaissance, where where you have your show yep. coming up. Yeah. We have several events coming oh, up. Oh, Fairmont. Sorry. Excuse me. Uh, no, Renaissance. No, you're Renaissance. Right. Yep. Okay. Good. Uh, we have several events coming up. 
Uh, and the Renaissance is, is one that's not sold out yet, and that's Friday, November 2nd. Okay, and good. You can actually do a real ghost hunt there with us. So you're with a real paranormal investigator. We'll take you around, use our equipment, and, and see what we can find. And very that cool. building has such a history, too. Right. So I'm yeah. sure it'll be very interesting. Yeah, real interesting history. Very cool. Thank you so much for joining us yeah, this morning. It's fascinating. I have so many questions. Mm. <laughs> Come join Brett on his next ghost hunt with Ghost and Nat Paranormal Adventures. That's Saturday, the August, October 27th. Is that one sold out? Yeah, Brett? that one just sold out. It just sold out. Okay, so that one was an Anderson Manor on the north side, then again on November 2nd, as you just heard, at the Renaissance Hotel in downtown Pittsburgh.